a rapper who is serious yet fun, deep yet entertaining. We have Sokodomo with us here today, VIP Access. What's up? 안녕하세요. What's up? What's up? Yes. Do you want to say hello to all the listeners currently tuning in? There are just worldwide listeners right now. Ooh. Saying hello, please. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm I'm reading the comments. Oh, you are. Do you want to say hello? You're more than welcome to say hello and say their uh, names too. Oh, I'll do that later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's doing push and pull from the beginning. He's doing beer tongue with us. All right, guys. So we have Sokodoma, as you can uh, hear and see. Uh, yeah, he obviously can speak English as well. And actually, uh, let me just say a quick hello from one of uh, the fan and listener. Emily wrote in from Malaysia. Hi, Sokodomo. I listen to your music often. Thank you for being on Music Access. Mm. Yeah. Let's say hello to Emily. Thank hello, you. Emily. Hello, Emily. Yeah. So actually, his first time here on the program. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, tell us uh, where you are, where you're from, how you speak English. I do hear that you speak a lot more languages than English, right? Right. Yeah. Right. We'll talk about that. <laughs> um... Okay, where I'm from, mm -hmm. I'm from Korea. Yes. I was born in Korea, and um, when I was four, I went to the States. Mm -hmm. I lived there for about six years, and then came back, lived here for about two years. Then I went to Brazil. Wow. And I lived there for about four years and came back uh, in 2015. Okay. Yeah, and after that, I've been in Korea. Nice. Yeah. I feel like you have a very different uh, vibe mm -hmm. than I do because I'm mm -hmm. all like, ah! yeah. <laughs> you're just very chill and very calm. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, so not only with English, but also with Korean as well, a couple of other languages too. If I um, can't actually hear you, if that's possible, I hear you speak a little bit of Portuguese and mm -hmm. a little bit of Spanish too. Mm. Do you want to say uh, just a little uh, hello to our listeners because we have listeners from uh, all around the world? Right. Yeah. I don't know about Spanish because uh -huh. I forgot a little bit. Okay. But I did speak Portuguese two years ago. Ah. So I can. Say, I think I can say, um, where's the bathroom? Aonde é banheiro? Aonde é banheiro? Aonde é banheiro? Something like that. That's where is the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? <laughs> I'm That's, guessing you need to use the washroom very yeah. often. That is, that is key. Uh -huh. That is key. Also for Japanese. Cause, um, oh, yeah. I also speak Japanese. Oh, do you? Yeah, a little bit. You want to you wanna say hello? Uh, I can say where's the bathroom in Japanese. Oh. <laughs> Do you uh, want to say it first? Uh, uh, toilet where is the bathroom? Oh, very, very fluent. Yes, yes, yes. Very fluent, yeah. That's key. I really wish I can speak a lot of languages like you do too, but it's just the key phrases and the key words, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. And actually, for our listeners um, who want to get to know more of Sokodomo, he actually gained a lot of popularity from the uh, public through the show High School Rapper right. 3, right? And mm -hmm. that was in 2019. Mm -hmm. And actually, with along with his name Sokodomo, he's got some other nicknames like Another Level. And mm -hmm. I don't know why people call you Alien. Mm -hmm. what's, what's that about? So the the keyword alien mm -hmm. was actually uh, like the theme for me on uh, High School Rapper Three. Okay. Because um, I wanted to go with like um, like uh, what do you call it? With something different, mm -hmm. not like like sexy or nothing like smart, mm -hmm. smart sexy. I didn't want to do that, mm -hmm. and. Um, I was like, what's a, what's a good thing? What's a good thing? And I was thinking like, ibangin in Korean mm -hmm. or like, webuin. <laughs> uh -huh. As like your kind of little, little concept, right? Yeah. yeah so, like an outside person. Mm -hmm. Right. For me, it was like, mm -hmm. an, it was like, or like stranger. Right, right. Yeah. Something like that. But then um, the, 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 the writers mm -hmm. on, the uh, on the show were like, oh, let's go with this theme. And because this is more like, um, this makes more sense right. on the show. And I was like, okay. Oh. That sounds cool. And after that, people mm -hmm. are just like, oh, he's from space. <laughs> I'm like, what? No, 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 I'm not from space. Um, yeah, but yeah. All right. That's how the word I'm is. guessing so you had you had that concept uh, from the writers of that TV show. And also you agreed to that uh, as well, like Alien and another level. Mm -hmm. And actually, um, I feel like right now, just um, I, I, guess, I guess you can't really judge a book by its cover, but you seem like a very, very cool, uh, just handsome man. <laughs> but on stage too, you're mm -hmm. very, very different. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's a lot of artists are like that. Mm -hmm. But is that like one of your thing that you do or like a concept that you do? Or because mm -hmm. you seem very different on stage. 
um, I'm very calm uh-huh. when I'm um, when I'm just like talking mm-hmm. or just um, I'm usually very calm. But then when I kind of zone in mm-hmm. to like when I perform or like when I work on music, I right. think. There's like another ego right. that just comes out, right. and it just like like top chose yeah, the just, original it just gets ego. Gets you, yeah. yeah. And I think that's the cool part about like having artists like you in the studio because mm-hmm. we are gonna be checking out your live later on, and I'm really looking forward to like how you're gonna change from <laughs> what you are like now, right? Uh-huh. And I actually let's take this time to say hello to a couple of our fans. So we do have V Live uh, right now in front of us. If you can all say hello to a couple of the fans out there and the listeners too. Mm-hmm. Normal, yeah, you can see the V Live uh, and read oh, the comments. Yeah, yeah. Comments. I see, I see Lolo, mm-hmm. Lolo a lot. Yeah. I see Alter Eagle Cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool, actually. Jasper. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. And the idea of Stranger <laughs> is interesting, too, he says. Yeah. I think that's really uh, really cool, too. And especially with just Alien, too. I think that's just really, really awesome. Mm-hmm. And actually, for those of you guys who were wondering why Sokodomo hasn't been appearing on um, just, you know, on air, on radio uh, very often after his release in tw- uh, 2019. So you've been releasing uh, some albums, producing music, and also featuring in some, too. Mm-hmm. But why? What's the reason why you haven't been like just actively like I guess I can say actively promoting like on TV and like on radio? Uh-huh. Yeah. Any reason to that? Um, I think I was kind of figuring out because um, it was um when when COVID hit, mm. it was only like I was only like eight months in like the, the industry, industry, yeah, and I was still figuring out what was what, and then. COVID hit and like everything kind of stopped mm-hmm. so that's when I kind of stopped ah. like working or like anything mm-hmm. but um and I was very like confused right. for a bit but I feel like that was why I wasn't really like really like that show like right right like out visible. there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm. Oh, so it's it kind of it's it's kind of like sad to hear that like you stopped along with like with COVID too, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually, for um, all the fans out there who are tuning in, who just wish to get to know more about this artist and to see more charming points and charming aspects of this artist, we are gonna jump into our Sokudomo's 60 second profile. So we have a 60 second mm-hmm. timer ready, and I'm gonna just give you questions right off the bat, and just all you have to do is just answer them all in order. All right. Okay. All right. So we have our 60 <laughs> second ready. 60초. Choose mm. your name. Uh, Sean Yang. Sean Yang. Sean uh, Yang. your date of birth. Uh, November 15th, uh, the year 2000. Okay. Personality. Uh, calm. Uh, your stage name and the meaning. Uh, Sokodomo. Uh, it means Korean child. Korean child. Okay. Korean words child. to introduce yourself. Uh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why I started music. Uh, hmm. uh, I like art. You like art? Alright, your charming point. Uh, my voice. Uh, habits that I have or that you have when you produce music. Um, uh, oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. Okay, alright. <laughs> uh, last meal that you want to have before you die. <laughs> um, tofu, I don't know. Okay, um, <laughs> your favorite alien, a name, an alien that you like. Uh, E.T. E.T., yeah. e. okay. Your sleeping habits. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Um, All right, uh, let's say your jinx. Jinx. Um, oh. Ah, ah. Okay, let's do that last question. Your jinx. My jinx. Uh huh. Because there's always that one jinx, especially when you work on music or when you're on stage. Uh huh. You're like, oh, let's not do this, but it always happens. Any anything like uh, that you do, or anything that happened in the show too. Maybe something falling. Like falling. Yeah. Like on stage. Yeah. That is not a good thing. I mean, that's right. that's a, not a good thing, right? That's, yeah. So so actually, let's go over a couple of more that we didn't get to. So mm. the I'm pretty sure our listeners are very curious about this. The wallpaper on your smartphone on your on your phone. The wallpaper on my uh-huh. phone. Uh, it's me. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's him. Okay. Yeah. Um, a city that has a dear memory to you, whether it be in Korea or or abroad too, anywhere. Hmm. Alabama. 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 Uh, Prattville, Alabama. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very, very specific. Yes. Um, your ideal type. Let's talk about that. Um, someone weird. Someone weird. Yeah. Like weird in, in like 
weird in taste of food or taste of music or weird as in like the appearance or like mm. personality someone like me someone like you yeah so wait, you're saying you're weird then i am weird really i'm 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 because this is the first time meeting you uh-huh i'm, I'm keeping the ah you're ke- I'm, okay i'm keeping, I'm keeping the, the boundary yeah. all right <laughs> just to himself okay yeah. i see i see right i mean i feel like near the end of our show that weirdness hopefully we can get that out from you um let's see talk about some things that make you laugh what what are some uh, things that make you laugh things that make me laugh um mm, things that make me laugh mm-hmm or something that you just laughed at recently just, mm. just blew your head out because it was so so funny just something with extra energy something with extra energy something with extra energy that's just way too funny ah uh, yeah i see how about a uh, a cringy moment that i want to forget we call that hugyeoksa in korean mm, anything moment mm-hmm. i think i think my childhood is kind of cringy why how, how so because um i i looked through like a little wait what um like a photo I, album yeah photo uh-huh. album um and i saw someone some of my uh some some of the videos uh. <laughs> that i shot when uh-huh. i was little and that was pretty cringy i mean i think that uh, that happens to a lot of people right yeah. yeah but i feel like especially maybe like 10 20 years from now we look back at this video or like a video that you filmed like at this moment mm. and you're gonna find that cringy too right mm. yeah mm-hmm. how about a uh, a kengi we call it a hidden talent anything that you have a hidden talent yeah uh, i can do this <laughs> i can do this this is this is pretty uh-huh. rare is it wait i can do that oh <laughs> wait, wait, don't go. wait is it, isn't this what you're doing no is it that is it is uh-huh. so, okay. Right. okay maybe I, just, I... I just lost the talent <laughs> and i just gained one too yeah. um anything um that you collect let's go with that um mm-hmm. anything i collect mm-hmm. i think i collect um, whether it be now or even when you were a kid too because people used to collect stamps or like coins hmm I think I collect things that represent a part of me. Oh. And I put it in my room. No. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Like kind of like hang up on your wall, like yeah. put in your cupboard. That's really interesting. Just random stuff. Yeah. That is just like, oh, that's me. Oh. Ah. Yeah. What was the last one then that you found? Um, I think I bought a table. Like a like a table. Yeah. Uh huh. I was like, oh. That represented you. Yeah. I was like, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah. I, I i can sense that little weirdness coming out yeah. yeah okay okay we're getting it we're getting it all right all right so let's um do one last question for you today's tmi and then we'll move on any tmi for today today's tmi uh-huh. um <laughs> wait anything will do how old are the people who are watching this um, they, it, it, it's, it's all, all range. We have adults, we have, uh, teenagers too, as, uh, as listeners. I kind of want to drink uh, today. <laughs> I want, you want to. I want to. Uh, okay, okay. I want to. That's his TMI. Maybe, maybe you can do that after the show today. Yo, for yeah. sure. For sure, for sure. <laughs> and since you brought that up, uh, we're very curious to how much you can drink. How much I can drink. Because I feel like right now, I mean, like I mentioned before, you shouldn't really judge people by their looks on how much they drink. But mm-hmm. I, I feel like you can take, you know, a couple. Um, I'm pretty specific. He's very specific, okay. <laughs> and I'm very different. It's uh-huh. very different for every uh, uh, liquor. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so for like tequila. Uh-huh. And wow. very like hard or like tosu open uh-huh. drinks yeah like the alcohol level is very high yeah, alcohol those, level, yeah, yeah. yeah um those i can take a lot but then soju uh-huh. is just hard like i can't drink a lot of soju that's so weird because soju is not even close to the ones that are high right yeah so just like 13 ish right yeah so weird that's so weird <clears throat> you are kind of weird <laughs> all right that's that's very very interesting but i actually no no but i actually do hear that um you know how beer too i mean we shouldn't be talking about alcohol uh, this entire time but like beer is very <laughs> very little 
But there are people out there who can't drink that at all, but they can drink other stuff too, right? Yeah. Yeah, very, very interesting. Mm-hmm. All right, um, we're gonna go um, uh, talk a little bit more about uh, his songs. And actually, before we go dive into the live, so your new album, let's talk about that very, very briefly. So it was mm-hmm. released on May 11th, Korea time, and we're gonna talk about the, uh, the song. So the album, mm-hmm. it's very interesting. I want you to uh, explain about this. So it is like dot, 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 like hyphen, 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 dot, dot, dot. Mm-hmm. And actually, in the title of the album, you mentioned that you made it when you had such a bad headache. Mm-hmm. So first of all, what is the album? Why is it titled like that? Um, it's, it's in Morse code. Ah. But it means SOS. Like Save Our Souls SOS. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. SOS, right. So I'm guessing you actually made it when you had a headache and you were like, Save My Soul, maybe? Um, I, I wanted like a phrase mm-hmm. to represent how I was feeling. Mm-hmm. And those feelings weren't really like positive. Mm-hmm. I was like, hmm, what's what's like an interesting feeling that when you just read it, you just know what it is. Um, But then it's just like funny at the same time. Right. And I was like, I have a headache. No, but seriously <laughs> though, while I was getting ready for the second hour meeting you, I was like, so, um... Uh, dash, 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 <laughs> like, dash, 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 or hyphen, hyphen, hyphen. Very interesting yeah. to know that album. Uh, and actually, let's talk about the title track too. So it is titled MM or Murder Mind. It also features J Park too. Yes. Right? So, I mean, did you personally know him beforehand or how did this uh, collaboration come to be? Um, I did know J Helm before. Okay. Um, we, we worked on this song because uh, we also... Because I also featured on like one of his uh, songs in right. his last album. Right, right. And even before that, we just knew each other, and like um, he was doing, he was giving me a lot of support. Mm-hmm. And then um, I was like, oh, I should, I should put Jay Hong mm-hmm. in a, in the, in a song. Uh huh. While I was making the album. Right. I was like, when when I got the song, mm-hmm. when I got like a sketch of the song, I was like, oh yeah. I got something for you. <laughs> Can you do a featuring for me? <laughs> do you mind doing a featuring? Uh-huh. And he was like, "Oh, yeah." And he was like, "Um, I'll do a featuring. Uh-huh. I'll be on your music video." Uh-huh. And let's do like and like he just did so much more than he like so much more like extra. Right. Then than, you then you asked for. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, "Wow, that's that's like that's that's love." That's love. That's love. <laughs> That's very, very interesting. And actually, um, so you were working with Jay Park. And also, I'm going to give you one honest uh, question before we dive into the live. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to ask you, I want to collaborate with a girl group. Yes or no? One, two, three. Sure. Sure. <laughs> That's a very iffy answer. Okay, now I'm going to go with yes, right? Yes. One girl group then that you want to work with in the future. Girl group that mm-hmm. I want to work with. KDA. Oh. Do you know? Is that a group though? Uh, I Is it? think so. Okay, all right. I mean, they are a girl group. Yeah, they are, yeah. So, but You really do fit that genre, though, I think. Yeah. I think it's going to go really, really well, right? Yeah. So that has, like, uh, G-Idol, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With all the different artists, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Their song's actually pretty, really, very, very unique, though. Right. Yeah. Um, hoping that can actually uh, happen. I, I can actually see that coming, though. Mm. Yeah. All right. So uh, for the time being, though, uh, he has prepared the live. So this song that we're going to take a listen to of him doing live is actually um, a song titled Pegasus. Mm-hmm. So this is actually a sidetrack, not the title one. Right. Do you want to tell us about what the song is? Um, where is it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Pegasus. Uh huh. Um, what the song is? Mm-hmm. Um, why I named it Pegasus, or why we named it Pegasus, was mm-hmm. because that was like the only name, mm-hmm. or like the only. So, so that was a um, Kaje. Mm-hmm. Like, like a like a sketch like a name. informal title or like a track yeah. yeah 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 like a rough love like a rough draft right yeah it was mm-hmm. like a demo mm-hmm. name for the track mm-hmm. but um there was no other uh word to express the song and uh. i was like ah oh, interesting uh. and it just feels like uh a horse mm-hmm. with a wing is like right. doing this right for like two minutes. Uh-huh. You could have named a unicorn then. 
Unicorn is too beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Unicorn is too beautiful. I think that'd be a very, very totally new uh, vibe, though, to have uh, Sokodoma <laughs> singing Unicorn. <laughs> that'd be very interesting. All right, yeah. so if you can get ready for your live uh, for our listeners, Sokodoma. Mm-hmm. And uh, as we go take a listen to that live, we're going to ask you guys to send in your questions. So head on over to our send message. It is on our website, www.arirangradio.com slash music access. Or you can DM our Instagram at music access. Access underscore Arirang. And if you had your uh, message read out, we're going to be sending out a prize of Sokudomo uh, in a selfie as well. So make sure to keep those coming in. But for now, we're going to go dive into the live version. I think he's ready. Yeah. All right. So here's a live version of Pegasus by Sokudomo. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, no mari mano Blue friend, no way good on ya jincha Smile at me for once, I put you in a pincha Negi bun jincha chon de no manga Then you be going round round, just bow wow like da 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 How you tryna know me when I don't? Yeah, jane narang kai no ri hano no muna di Narang no go shikum yogi yogi buta I'm the, I'm the jay te gan de jima, I'm the gagi Keep it low key, got a bucket cut looking so dope Cookie, how my future turning now with luck Okay, Sasha, good on your guitar, the trombone, you be one I'm being funny, but really Pick when my weary going places and don't know I'm geeking with my hickey sticky I do not know now I need a track and top Let me go, go, not do not jam more lies I'm getting a nigga more stago Blue friend, no way good on your g Smile at me for once, I put you with a pincha They keep on chin cha chon de no manga Then you be going round round, just bow wow like da 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 Blue friend, no way good on ya chincha Smile at me for once, I put you with a pincha They keep on chin cha chon de no manga Then you be going round round, just bow wow like da 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 Aha! Thank you so much for that Ooh, I, didn't swear. <laughs> I didn't swear I didn't swear I didn't swear <laughs> thank you thank yes. you for not so that was uh, live of Pegasus by Sokudoma who is here with us in the studio we have a lot of our listeners on the comment section um, yeah just yay Sokudoma and also our listener Jasper just going turn up and also the time to add your songs to uh, the listeners playlist our listener mm-hmm. says Cubes is also writing in sick rap flow Sokudomo Soko is writing in Domo Chareso you did so so well actually hey. there was a very random comment that I saw I don't know if it was for you or for somebody else but jasper uh, wrote in in the comment section is he ticklish are you ticklish i am very ticklish you're very ticklish all right yes. i'm How'd guessing you know? that answers your question how'd you know yeah <laughs> oh. our listeners know everything yeah. uh lenny is also writing in cool rap yeah that was very very awesome all right so keep more uh questions coming in guys you guys know where to go and actually just talk more about um and with Sokuromo, so there is a word called, uh, in Korean we call it kepchai, which is like a, like a, if you directly translate, yes, it does mean gap difference. Mm-hmm. And I think you have a uh, gap difference too. So we talked about how you're very just calm and just very chill mm-hmm. when you're talking, but when you do music and when you're just performing, you kind mm-hmm. of just change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what kind of personality do you think um, uh, Sokuromo and mm-hmm. also Yangsungo has? Mm-hmm. Like what are the differences? I actually have a couple more egos. Oh, do you? Yeah. And I separate them into uh, different emotions. Oh. And so, Sokodomo mm. is like the like turn up okay. ego. Mm-hmm. So, everything is positive. Oh, okay. But then, when you're turning up, you actually are worrying about tomorrow a little bit. Mm-hmm. I think, for me, mm-hmm. at least. I worry like when I like party mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's and how I, you party right yeah, yeah. I party like that <laughs> when I party I still worry about oh like what if what if what if ah. so it, everything is positive uh-huh. but there's just something in the back of your head and I think Sokodomo is like represents those emotions right. and I also have another ego called Lapa Masaka okay and um, this ego is just anger uh-huh. and just hate mm-hmm. and just everything like that okay and yang Seung-woo 
that's like your your actual you. Yeah. Yeah. Yang Sung Woo, the actual me, mm -hmm. is just uh, calm okay. and wants peace. Wants peace. And uh, good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. And always kind of tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually just very curious too, because right now, you know, it's we're just passing three thirty. Um, it's not a, um, it's a time where artists, especially you know, like solo singers and and hip hop artists like you and rappers, like mm -hmm. it's not like um, it, it's it's quite early, right, it's, to perform. It's pretty early. Yeah, and I see you're not drinking coffee. Mm. I'm, are you not a coffee person? Oh, um. Or does Sokodomo drink coffee and Yang Sungo drinks? Pops, pop drinks. I don't uh, know. I didn't have time to buy coffee. I'll go to the coffee shop. So uh. this was like the most caffeine, uh -huh. caffeine I could get right, right. without getting bad coffee uh, from see. the convenience store. Right, right. right. Interesting <laughs> yeah. to know that. All right. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. So we're going to go into our random question time. So we have a number of questions. Let me just get the questions from our listeners from 1 to 10. If you say mm. just a number, I'm going to ask you. I don't think you have the questions on your script. Uh, it is. <laughs> no, flip it. No, no, don't, no, don't look at it. That was supposed to be out. The question is not supposed to be on a script. All right. Um, 1 through 10. Any, any number? Uh, I didn't see it, so it's okay. Um... Thank you. I'll do seven. Seven. Lucky seven. Lucky seven. Mm -hmm. um, what is the uh, the silliest or the stupidest thing you have ever done? Oh, I don't have that. What I don't do have mean? that sheet. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, okay. good. <laughs> You're not supposed oh. to. Okay. Um, oh. What is the silliest thing you've ever done? What is the silliest thing I've ever done? Mm -hmm. um, what is the silliest thing I've ever done? <laughs> You're thinking mm. very, very hard about this. Because mm. I try not to do things that uh -huh. I regret. Uh huh. Hmm. If you can't think of, we can get back to it. And you can ask me another question or ask me, uh, answer another number. Mm. All right, give me another number then. And three. Three. Um, ooh, your favorite pizza topping. Mm. Your favorite ice cream flavor and your favorite mm -hmm. coffee flavor. That's so much easier. Um, is it? All right, yeah. let's talk about that. My favorite pizza topping mm -hmm. is pepperoni. Ah, oh, I can't go wrong with that. Yeah, I also like Hawaiian. Uh, you like pineapples on your pizza? Yeah. Okay. I'm a respect for you. Yeah. <laughs> respect for you because I don't like pineapples on my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and, um, and ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream is uh, mint chocolate. Ah, yes. We oh. have something on common. Oh, like I just okay. had that yesterday, too. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> and how about coffee? What coffee do you drink? I drink uh, ice americano. Ah, okay. Always. All right. So you're Even. not much of a sweet coffee guy. Uh, sometimes mm -hmm. if if it's like really really good mm -hmm. but then most most um sweet coffees are just like syrupy they're just oh <laughs> oh. Oh, oh i'm oh. not offended at all i'm oh. not offended don't oh. you get that oh. <laughs> but starbucks uh -huh. oh i'm not supposed to say s-box it's okay s-box yeah. uh -huh. got some fire um fire sweet coffees yeah they yeah. do it is really good yeah, yeah. but i just like my coffee ice americano nice. even in the winter yeah so what yeah. we call that yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah even if you just uh die you gotta go with ice ice coffee right let's do one more so another number if you can uh mm -hmm. give me another number so you did three and seven other than three and seven i'll do there's one two three four so i'll do four okay four <laughs> If you can live just one day as a different item or a different thing or living living thing, which thing would you choose? Mm. Let's say an item. I think item's more funny. Item. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> huh. That's an interesting item. Uh huh. Or anything, any item that you would uh, live as in your next life. I would be a dollar. Like a dollar, like a dollar bill. I I would be money. You'd be money. Yeah. And why 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 money? I'll will just see their I'll just see the people's faces. Uh huh. And feel happy. 
Yeah. And be like, mm, you need me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's really true too, right? Yeah. Especially when you take out like a cash from your wallet. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, you see like the smiles on their faces. Yeah. And you not only stick with one person, but you go with around to every other people, right? Right. Yeah, that's interesting. All right. Um, I hope you guys uh, found that very interesting. I do have a lot of questions from our listeners. Let's say hello to Love in the Air. Uh, I want to say hello to Love in the Air. Hello to uh, all the camera over there oh. uh, from Indonesia. Uh, so Love in the Air is writing in. So I was uh, just searching up your songs after that and question for you, uh, mm. any producer that you want to collab with or is there a producer that you like? For me? Uh-huh. Um, I think my favorite producer is of course Sesame. Oh. The, the guy who worked on the whole album with me. Right, this right. Time. He's been doing music with me for about four years, Mm -hmm. even before I was on the show. Mm -hmm. And we just know each other so well. And like, we just know what what kind of music like uh, we like. And um, producer I want to collab with, um, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think Timbaland. Oh, as in like uh-huh. Timberland? No, there's a producer uh-huh. named Timberland. Timberland, okay. Yeah. And um, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, you know, I've actually, so with the uh, title track too, so um, you mentioned the producer uh, says to me not only for the entire album, but for your MM song too, right? Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you so much for that love in the air in Indonesia. We have another one, Jaspar. Let's say a little to Jaspar. Jaspar, hello. Hello. The listener who asked you if you're ticklish. So I was <laughs> curious, what inspired you to make music? What inspired me to make music? Mm-hmm. I think um, the because I've I've been living in so many different countries. Mm-hmm. I think the nostalgia mm-hmm. of like living at in each country and that nostalgia being like mixed up oh, and getting twisted right really inspired me to write about very interesting topics uh, in my music right okay and actually jasper asked another question so mm. um any future uh, any further dreams uh, with your career and i just want to add on top of that like what is like your final goal then as like an artist mm, my final goal mm-hmm. as an artist I think um, for me if because I've never seen a Korean person get a Grammy mm-hmm. that's your final dream yeah mm. getting a Grammy is my final dream okay all right hope Wait. that can did anyone get a Grammy? I'm not really sure. Did BTS get a Grammy? They did get nom. No, they did get nominated oh, though. Oh, yeah. okay. That's like that's like that's still crazy. It but... is. It is crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's history made right there. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you so much for all those questions. Let's just do one more. So we had this one from Rusi. Let's say hello to Rusi in Hi. Indonesia. Hi, Rusi. Hi, Rusi. Um. So I wanna know. Um. Uh, mind sharing your playlist. So any songs that you had on your playlist? Any songs recently that you listened to? Any mm. recommendation for our fam and listeners? Any of that? Hmm. I have one song that a lot of people like. It's okay. called um, Nice Boys. Nice Boys. By Temporax. Oh, oh wow. Temporax. Temporax? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? No, I don't. I do not. Oh, yeah. it's it's a really nice song to mm-hmm. listen to at any moment. Mm-hmm. So it's it's not very like complicated also. So it's it's just like easy to listen. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I mean, I mean, I feel like his, his taste in music and like his overall vibe was very, very interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm actually uh, wanting to get to know about your music world since we kind of talked about what you listened to, any song recommendation, uh, recommendation that you had. So I'm gonna go and explore. Um, just taking a look at the lyrics from your songs and ask questions about them. <laughs> so your first song, uh, "Sugar." Mm-hmm. The lyric go, 나는 좀 예쁘게 생긴 남자여서 어디를 가든 다 예쁘게 봐줄 줄 알았어. Which means since I'm a Pretty man, I thought everyone would like me wherever I go. Mm. And you wrote these yourself, right? Right. And uh, you think um, you are pretty, and you think, and you thought, I guess, mm-hmm. you would be acceptable <laughs> wherever you go, right? What What were your thoughts behind when you were writing this? Um, what are my thoughts mm-hmm. when I was writing this? Um, 
So the lyric before this mm -hmm. is pretty important. Uh, wait, after this, mm -hmm. or I, I don't know if it's before this. Um, so I was talking about like a model mm -hmm. before the, these lyrics. Uh huh. But then, so where like how I got this was be because um when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I really wanted a girlfriend, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I never could get a girlfriend. Right. Because all the other guys looked better. Right. Because I was wearing like, like, uh -huh. like kind of like PJs, like yeah, pajamas PJs. to school. Yeah. And I didn't really know that you, ha you have to wear like proper clothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I, I don't know if that was it or if it was because I was just kind of weird, uh -huh. but it, it that kind of inspired me like later mm -hmm. on, cause back then I like well yeah like when I was in high school. Even if I liked someone, I couldn't really approach them. Right. And like I couldn't really like talk to them. Right. And they wouldn't even like talk to me. Aww. And they would and like later on they would always like date this other dude uh -huh. and i'll be like ah right so that's that's why <laughs> the lyrics came out like that right yeah i guess you're adding more confidence to yourself too yeah yeah right. all right so actually he has a lot of more songs and more lyrics that are very very interesting i do want to get to more of those but we mm -hmm. have to go into our live so we are going to check out another live so this one is titled other world mm -hmm. uh, let's check out that live first and then we'll get back to all the lyrics and i'll talk about that as well so yeah whenever you're ready let us know uh okay i'll try my best not to swear all right <laughs> he's gonna try once again all right so another live and we'll be right back here is sokodomo <laughs> with his song other world other world I will try my best not to swear. Hey. Yo. Yo. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, uh. Wait. Uh. Nah, nah, the dust charge. I got then a day. Where good at nine, ten. Where good at? Not a juggy level, begging me. Not a dozen, not a dozen. Not a dozen. Move the level one and go your way. Hey, I gotta kill this. For some money, gotta go steal the creativity, honey. None of the equal that she saw on my haji. Cut my kiss, I don't need a body on the day of the payday. They might show up to the club, main play. I gotta say, Musunin day, Musun Sawa, I just the gola with the main man. Eat at the Mitchell bag and Najin Mutu Nai finger. Gown the Sunka, I can nail it, Mulu Nai Shusu. I'm a little down, but the alcoholic in me stable. That the Nai Mola, so good as Sara and Nunge Jinjo. Oh, wait, oh, wait, the eight. Wait, don't me. Lady Michi Gash, cause I don't know logo, but I kinda nang you nugu my do ditchy yango nugu don't know Michi and Chiganji Nago ship a gun and not a tara on the petty la la boo la la boo Tell me the go ship up Gugga me what gugga me what you go sara Hana but the jumbo chiwa ha ho na the babo no the babo we just got your uh na na the dash touch a guy dead and dead Where good and nine ten way good eh not a juju lego, baggy milk, not to nestle, not a dash, move the lego, I didn't go you way. Yeah, I gotta kill these for some money. Gotta go steal the creativity, 100. None of the ink, could that shot of nine haji. Cut in my kill, so I don't need a body. Chuck it, molly, cut your jaw, and the motor, the gun, the need to know that they can, whoa. Get the out of my zone, I'm proud, so I'm ready to get my. Dog on my 808 base, got me sober than a baby, super clean mind. So, so I mean, I'm your buddy, money, do not decline. My eyes are already on the debbie, I don't decide my way. I got that Navy up. There's so many stops. Get it, get it, no love, I need hip hop. I got a feeling I could do when it kill a cute blocks inside a window. Let's bang it, minute, minute. Nah, not a dash, such a guy, then a dead way, good at nine, ten, way good at. Not a juggy lego, baggy mungy, not the nuts, I'm not a dash, you move the lego, one and go, you way. I gotta kill this for some money. Gotta go steal the creativity, 100. Not in the end, cause that's a shot of nine hundred. Cut him a kiss, I don't need a body. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> 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 
right. think, I think I couldn't sing like half of the song. Yeah. <laughs> that was so good though. All right, we have a lot of our listeners. Are actually Lenny is writing in. Wow, how can you do that in just one breath? That, that's a very long breath that you have. Right. And also, yeah, just uh, so good, so good. Um, Moshita from our listener on V Life too. <laughs> that was very, very good. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank yes. you. Oh, my allergies are killing me. What allergies do you have? I have uh, pollen allergies. Ah, oh, me and too. I think that actually messes with your voice. Of course it does. So you get dry really fast. Yeah. Your voice. So I couldn't. It was it was getting like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> In between. Yeah, I mean, you still did amazing though. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, hope you guys appreciated that too. Uh, we are more thankful that you did more lives uh, here for us. But mm. we were just talking about like your music and like the lyrics as well. So, let's uh, continue on with the uh, another song. So, uh, this one is titled Too Much. Mm-hmm. So, taking a look at the lyrics for this one, it goes, 나는 래퍼들의 래퍼가 되고 나서 난 그냥 막 와. After I became the rapper of rappers, I just uh, was just like, whoa. But that's the thing though, being a rapper of other rappers or being like an idol of other singers, mm. that's not an easy thing to do, right? Um, yeah. It's not, yeah. I, I don't think it is. And it basically means, uh, if just by the look of the lyrics here, it means that you were just acknowledged by other rappers. Yeah. Yeah, how, but, how, how do you feel? Um, I'm not like super famous mm-hmm. uh, commercially. Okay. So I'm not I'm not like very famous, mm-hmm. but then I feel like the reason why um I can still do music and be like uh be um uh, what I was uh, you can say it in Korean if you want. I'll just translate for you. Actually, I actually can't. Think, um, I don't know what the word is, but mm-hmm. um, and the reason why I can still do music, mm-hmm. um. I think is because so many artists um, love my music, right? And right. if 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 I didn't have that, mm-hmm. then I don't think it would have been easy for me to do music, right? Because then no one would actually like recognize the art. True, and not only with artists, but also like you know just just fans and listeners and just the public too that listen to your music as well, right? right? I feel like that is also the motivation right. and just the inspiration that. Just gets you keeps on going yeah. to keep on doing music. Yeah. And yeah. actually, oh, sorry, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, and like also the fans. Yeah. Who, because I feel like there's like a group of people mm-hmm. who just like love me. Uh huh. And they're pretty crazy. Okay. And um, they're not they like most most f- like new fans are came in through like different artists right right. but then they just somehow know me interesting which is very interesting yeah i mean you're still still getting famous still getting lots of love for your music too so that's that's something yeah to look out for and actually um we are currently uh closing uh to the end of our show for today and before we say goodbye to sokodomo and end the show for today tell us about your future plans what are you up to what are you, you going to be up to um um what am I going to be up to? Mm-hmm. Um, More music. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, more music for mm-hmm. sure. And um, I think I. Oh well, not I think there. There will be a single coming out pretty nice. soon. Nice. With somebody, I can't really spoil it okay. right now, but um, that that's gonna come out, and um, hopefully, I'm more visible yeah hopefully yeah hopefully like bless me (laughs) bless me (laughs) we'll give you all the blessing in the world (laughs) yes all right well actually hope all the listeners and all the the fans out there um just keep on continuing to support you and give you all the love that you actually do deserve as well thank Thank you you so much for joining us today Sokodomo. thank you so much no problem all right so we're gonna wrap up the show for today with the title track that we've been talking about Sokodomo featuring jay park this one produced by sesame mm murder mind and this has been dj lex and Sokodomo here in the studio have a fantastic friday and Thank you so much, Okodomo. Bye! Bye! Thank you!